Wendy. Uh, today's topic, creating project teams to realize sustainability benefits, combines project management methodologies with social and environmental vision to create shared benefits for organizations and stakeholders. And these are our learning objectives for today. Uh, aligning project benefits with business and sustainability goals to deliver shared value, adopting sustainable strategy to drive team engagement, creating diverse teams to deliver innovation, agility, and resilience, and building a culture of inclusivity to support diverse teams, highlighting projects and best practices for embedding sustainability into organizations, and sharing a few case studies and tools to create teams um, in order to deliver sustainable benefits. So let's get started. Many of you may be familiar with the Sustainable Development Goals, and they are depicted here in a, a triple bottom line format. And what I mean by that is uh, biosphere, which is planet, society, which is people, and economy, which is profit. And these 17 goals provide a roadmap for businesses, governments, and NGOs to help all of us reach our shared vision by 2030. Biosphere on the, the bottom circle is uh, things like life on land and below water, clean drinking water. Society deals with goals like um, no poverty, zero hunger, or gender equality. And economy deals with goals like decent, work, economic growth, innovation, and infrastructure. And I commonly get a question um, here about, do you have any evidence that taking a triple bottom line approach actually creates financial value? And the answer is yes. There's a lot of research, but um, one that I like to cite is some Harvard research that tracked performance of public companies from 1993 to 2010, and a dollar in invested in highly sustainable companies was worth $22.60 versus $15.40 for a dollar invested in low sustainability companies. So there's definite economic gain uh, for taking this approach. And one of the examples that we're going to look at today is from Nokia. And this is from their 2016 sustainability report. And they've broken each of these sustainable development goals into their own goals for the year. So the figure uh, depicts Nokia's 2018 priorities with the corresponding SDGs, and they are to improve people's lives with technology, protect the environment, conduct business with integrity, respect their people, and make change happen together. So this is just to give you a sense of how it can be lined up and um, used to support your organization's goals. I have to remember to use the arrows at the top. Sorry about that. So why is this you know, all important? Um, I'm sure everyone on the call uh, has heard of the, the term uh, VUCA. We live in a very volatile, uncertain, changing, an ambiguous world, and the rate of change is accelerating. Technology is part of the acceleration, but so is transparency brought on by social media. In order to thrive, leadership needs to have cross-functional, diverse teams that they can deploy to maximize opportunities and to minimize risks. Um, I've listed several trends here. Uh, these are global trends that impact business strategy. And to remain agile and resilient, leadership needs to address these trends. So uh, for example, resource scarcity, uh, rare earth scarcity in terms of uh, the rare earths that are required to build some of our technology, water stressed areas, um, that can lead to political instability. There's been a lot of activity in the South China Sea with land grabs um, and things like that. Global connectivity, connecting people and technology, um, that is a, something that uh, Nokia, in our, our example, is focusing on. And for them, that's an opportunity to lead to new partnerships and new solutions to build their business. 
when we talk about climate change, climate volatility, there have been increasing hurricanes, earth, earthquakes, um, in even uh, you know in the Americas and around the world. Taiwan uh, just experienced a terrible earthquake. So that relates to you know disaster preparedness. Is your is your team connected? outside of the office effectively? Um, do you know what to do if you are on site and is there a disaster plan? Um, in Houston, employers assisted employees after Harvey uh, in terms of providing resources, money, loans, um, you know, uh, pay just to keep them going. So there are a lot of things that need to be considered that maybe even 20 years ago, we didn't have to worry about as much. And then changing demographics. Um, the, the world is changing, the globe is changing. There's a growing middle class in developing countries and that leads to greater demand for goods and services. And while that creates new opportunities for business, it also creates greater demand on resources. And then lastly, um, stakeholder requirements. Uh, with social media and with um, access and greater exposure, all organizations need to take their stakeholders seriously and have a serious and um, regimented and formal stakeholder analysis all the way from uh, the board level through the team level. Uh, you can't just work in silos anymore. You really need to be aware of your community environment, your uh, competitive environment, your um, and your environment within your team. So uh, these are all things that are happening and um, need to be addressed. Continuing with our example um, from Nokia, you know, how do you figure out what is material to your organization and in taking this pathway to delivering on shared value? What do we need to focus on to, um, to create shared value both for the organization and for the stakeholders. So on the y-axis is the impact of sustainable development goals, and the x-axis is the impact, in this case, on Nokia's business. And the color coding represents Nokia's priorities. So improving lives with technology is in black, protecting the environment is in green, impacting our people is in blue, and conducting business with integrity is in gray. And you can see the upper right-hand quadrant are the most important um, areas to focus on. And those are connecting people and things, ethical business practice, energy efficiency, and health and safety. Um, and this is the example for Nokia. Your organization may be different, um, but this is what they are focusing on to um, help meet their uh, organizational goals and their sustainable development goals. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year. But if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.